Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we are back in automation with the Light Campaign V4.0 Let's Play with Superico Incorporated and Diplom Engineer Dr. Hans Dieter Krause. Yes, and we have just uh, tried something a little bit more complex than usual with the factory setups. It all makes logical sense and I just hope it doesn't fall flat on its nose because I've messed something up. And that is that we want to uh, just continue producing with our factory as if nothing has happened um, after four months of retool. So this new factory, or this old factory rather, is going to retool and then be able to build the um, current engine as well as the future iteration of the same engine. Interesting stuff. Let's see if it works. For that I think we have done everything we need to. And now we can just accelerate time until we get to that very moment where we might fail horribly. I'm going to ask for 12 stock months already. And that hopefully manages to um, deliver four months worth of stock, which I don't think it will, uh, or close to, until uh, start of 86. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's not, not long. It's less than a year till then. So let's get rolling. Oh, they are not producing enough. Come on. Economy, help us out. Fall down. <laughs> we need more cars. We need more cars. 5,200. Not enough. We are getting close, though. Getting closer. 3.5, 3.3. So this is not a complete catastrophe. 3.8. Oh, this almost works. Almost. Oh, mm, ouch. No, or not. Yeah, no operating factories. I know. I know, no factories there. I, I know. I know. I know. Come on, bam. And does it work? I think so. Yes, we are producing again. <laughs> it did work. <laughs> it did work. And the berry is here. The berry just released. Ah, beautiful. Beautiful. So now... Ooh. Uh, okay. Some money. We did make some money some somewhere here. Yes, ah, in this uh, downtime we did. Um, that's good. And now we have this engine completed with the berry, the old lump of steel. And now we need those 12 months to fill up uh, so that we can switch over from the Kakapo to the Marabou. Yes. I'm very happy that this actually worked. Um, we do need to facelift the berry, of course, that had some, uh, let's say, uh, compromises in its design. <laughs> So, uh, let's do that now. Should be reasonably quick. Ooh, ugh, that, that is not looking great, is it? Um, all right, but that was with current... Yeah, that must have been with current margins. All right, here we have the, the ugliest hatchback ever. But it's it's basically uh, an old mul multipler, isn't it? <laughs> this is beautiful. Um, it doesn't go any anywhere any fast, uh, that's for sure. 139 kilometers now. It's good enough. Uh, ooh, terrible fuel economy too. Old lump of steel engine. We have no brake fade whatsoever, so don't care about brakes. They're still they're fine. They're fine. One vented though. That's uh, that's decent enough. Ah, uh, this is the luxury version. So we have the premium cassette in here. Premium interior. I think it would be worth switching over to advanced or variable hydraulic, rather. Um, makes fuel economy even worse, but gets us some more stats like drivability. Although they don't like it for the for the comfort necessarily. Hmm. Yeah, not convinced. Let's keep it where it is. Um, we can go for. Should we go for standard standard 80s, though? Uh, 36, and this gets us up to 30. Uh, it's not quite 38. Hmm. We could use... Should we invest into this? The advanced 80s. Nah, no, they don't even like this. I would like to be above 38, but that's kind of late game, so <laughs> the berry won't see that, that point of time, I don't believe. It's it's good enough because of its monocoque chassis. We're fine. Ew. Ew. It has bottoming out and way too much roll angle. Who designed this shit? Well, actually, that gives higher score. 
<laughs> does, does go, that somehow does get higher score. Um, but what I will do is up the right height and stiffen it up a bit. Yeah, and that is way better. That's so much better. Yeah, not hitting quite that mark, but this one keeps the market segment open to the upside. Because it has higher prestige and such. One thing we do want to do, however, is to switch out the engine. Because this one is uh, old and gnarly. Oh, it wasn't the 800cc, it's the 1.1 liter in line 4. Tiny. Two valve. Oh fuck, okay, yeah, that's terrible. Uh, I think we can switch this out, can't we? Um, existing engine. Can we choose this one, please? Ooh, that is a difference. Holy shit, that's a lot of difference. That was a big jump in score. Yeah, Prestige just jumped to 30. Just going through and re-optimizing. This is looking so much better. Yeah, that is a big difference. I love it. Now, ah, the little convertible. Yes, please. This one also benefits from um, tire revamp. 155s on both. Of course, makes for a lot cheaper uh, an option. That is good. Yeah, yeah, saves us over 100 bucks. That's significant. Especially in the budget con convertibles. Not so much for the proper convertibles. But we might be able to retune so that it fits both. Yeah, there was a little bit more in it without going to crazy cambers and stuff. Uh, not so optimal overall, but uh, decent enough. 99.6, I take that. And that is very nicely situated in the convertible category. Ah, uh, here's the cheap version. Okay, let's let's take a look. Can we make this one a lot better as well? Uh, driving behavior, yeah, sure. So City Eco is what we are aiming for. Just the engine change has made a massive difference already. Nothing to tune here in those segments. No, 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 all good. Basic H track could go for this one. Yes. That upgrades us nicely. I need to check the others. But uh, if they were going for standard cassette... Yeah, I need to check the others. Cassette is what we are aiming for, but the A-track will be super cheap at the moment. Yeah, looking a lot better. Um, probably could go somewhat softer. Or can we? That is a little too hard. Nah, not really. I don't want the bottoming out, and that definitely disappears with these right frequencies. So this is good. The right height is fine. Yeah, it was almost optimal. There we go. Uh, one one step low. Ooh, this one is doing well basically everywhere because of how affordable it is. Nice. Oh yeah, here we were going for the premium cassette for both. And if we are going for the basic cassette in the base version, that will be just fine. I don't think it's time for a factory upgrade with our current financial situation and all those loans going on and stuff. Uh, billions outstanding to uh, to be paid. Yeah, a little scary. But uh, let's see what we can do here. This doesn't look like it needs to have a refresh done just yet. We just do a minor retool. Can we do that? Oh yeah, it's the car factory, of course, yes. Um, engine factory will need a major retool though, which is a shame. Okay, the changes alone are just 24 months. Uh, the safety, did we change that on all the cars? The answer to that was no, so I'll just go through and add that to all the trims. Alright, that's better. Oh yeah, coming down. Coming down in vector length, that is what I like to see. Uh, okay. Tooling is pretty rubbish at the moment. That can be upgraded. How fast do we want this facelift to be done? It doesn't have to be super fast. So we could go for three years. Oof. Yeah. I mean... Three years? That's a long time. That's a big increase in performance that we're seeing here. Cutting seven months off that, probably better. Not great, but probably better. I think that's a good compromise. Let's use this. And now, of course, we need to change the... Um, oh, wait a second. No, we, yeah, we need to 
have the project. Um, can't really make a face. No, we can make a facelift out of that. So that's fine. We can make a facelift with just these and add a factory to the production because of how we how we timed everything. So that's entirely possible. No, we can't remove this one either. We can't remove this one because that is being used by the Kakapo. This one is used by the Marabou and our new vehicle. So we just need to have these and just have it be a facelift that isn't being engineered and nothing happens. But we are going to add this one to the into the mix. And uh, we don't need to change anything here. Uh, this We don't want to remove it. And we do want to edit this one only. Let's see. Um, uh, shit, yes. That was bad. Right. Ouch. Ouch. Big ouchies. 320 million just to add this. Oh, that's nasty. Yes. That's right. Aluminium foundries. But we are never going to use the uh, iron foundries again. So, if we add this. Uh, build cost. Do we get anything back? Mm. No. Yes. Yes. Build costs are... Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, 400k. Okay. That's basically nothing. Um, but where, where are the actual costs? Building costs. Total building costs. 160 million. That is way lower, of course. That would be mm, 140. And, okay. Th that's not much more. I don't know why. Ah, that's the, the bug where it's only a quarter or something is counting uh, because it's a facelift. Yeah, that is lucky. <laughs> it's very lucky. Um, but it's a bug. So what do we want to build in here? Mm, um, do we want this factory to be able to help out with engine production for the Kakapo? I don't think it needs to. Yeah, it really doesn't need to. So let's only build this one because adding this will reduce efficiency. Okay, 173 million. It uh, could be worse. That's seven months. Ouch. But well, seven months. Yeah, okay. That's that's fine. Um, can we deactivate this one? It's just 21 million and doesn't change anything. Yeah, the major tooling is what is costing us so much time here. So we can also do uh, a nice revamp on the uh, on the car factory if we wanted to, but it's not necessary, I believe. Do we want to do anything on this one? Uh, no, because it's not really being used that much. Although, if we do a mine, no, that's another four months. <laughs> <laughs> where factory shit needs to shut down. So no, we don't want to do anything on this one. So this one should cost us zero months. Is that correct? Let's uh, just check again in the in the summary. Uh, tooling retooling is one month. Okay, I think we can deal with that. Engineering time, of course, is zero. Sign off. Yeah, yeah, that, that's exactly right. It's all good. Okay. Profit is looking decent enough. Uh, making a few billion here and there. But yeah, I'm not so sure about its popularity in general. This must be a lot better than before though. So um, probably also getting us margins that are sky high. Okay. Yeah, this looks like um, we have something here that will sell. Uh, hopefully. That is quite expensive for a little car like this. But the engine has... A fair amount of cost in this. It's 18% of the entire car's cost is the engine. Hmm. It's quite high. Usually it's around like 10-15%. By the way, now that the um, the engine factory does take longer to um, bring back in order, we can equally well do that for the car factory and just do repairs while we can, right? This is downtime and wh why not keep it fresh? Uh, it doesn't cost us all that much. Um, it's all good. So 29 months of wait. Hmm. 29 months of waiting. Is that fine? Is that fine for this engine? Because of its uh, engineering and stuff. Do we want to offset it? 
I think we need to, otherwise it would would come online instantly, wouldn't it? Uh, engineering time in months? Seven? What, what was there to engineer? Ah, you mean nothing. Yes, okay, right. Yeah, but we are fine here. We are definitely fine here, because this would end here and our Marabu is coming out there. So we're all good for that um, little stopover for the engines. It's, it's fine. One month. So we are ready. Sign off the selected projects. Here we go. Boom. And I think we might want to give the Hansmobile just another little ride because there, there have been a few things happening. Oh, let's let's see. Uh, Hans Dieter, uh, we we have some more Hansmobile work for you. Could you take another look? Just uh, build build what you you fancy. All right. All right, so uh, here we here we go again. Uh, the Hansmobile is uh, uh, the pres most prestigious part about this company, and uh, we take a look first at the engine selection, because that is where the magic goes. So here we have it. We select the current one, and that should make things a lot better already. Um, we have. The paint, the paint is specifically aerodynamic. It has, it's very, it has a little roughness to it, so that the the stream of air sticks to the car a little bit better. With the the, it's like dimples on a golf ball, you know. So they the the it creates some slight turbulence, which then creates a bit of under pressure, and that sucks the airflow to the car and. In end effect, it makes it so that there is less of a low pressure area building behind the car. And that makes it really fast and silky smooth. We could put in a 5 gear manual now, but I don't think this is really necessary. Uh, a 3 gear won't do it, but uh, yeah, now this doesn't help, does it? Yeah, it only makes things worse because it's heavier and stuff. Also, the car has now very good handling. I don't know why it was set up like this before. We don't need any drivability specifically. We do need only fuel economy. But this isn't made much worse by this. But at the same time, what it does do is that it does give us some quite a bit better cornering abilities. And you now wonder, Hans Dieter, Krause, Doctor. Why do you value the cornering speed? The simple reason is that if you have to brake less for the corners, you are wasting less energy. You want to have perfect energy retention with this car. So this is actually more important than having a few uh, mini percentages, mi micro percentages of fuel economy better. Right? So it's very important to remember all this. Also, we can uh, we can put better brakes on here now, and that will that is way too large. Though we can make them much smaller, and they will still perform better in the fading. Or maybe not, because this is not going to work well. Uh, th this actually has worse. <laughs> they are too powerful. They are just too powerful to. Oh, wait a second. We can just up the pad type. And, but that also increases brake pressure. Ah, this is not good. Four, five percent. Yeah, is it lighter though? Uh, I think it is. This is 15 kilos. They, before they were 21, so this is actually lighter. And yes, we have better fuel economy now because they had much lighter wheels. That's great. Oh, this is looking beautiful for the for the fast cornering. It's just about in the in the very manageable understeer region. There is a little kick towards the end, but uh, not even getting you to oversteer or anything critical. So we can deal with this. I I can drive this. I would never even drive 150, of course. I would be somewhere in the region on between 50 and 75, maybe. Uh, this is about where the car is the most efficient. We are also upgrading to the new package in safety. Very important. I don't want to uh, to be out there driving like a maniac and and uh, end up in a uh, in a fuel fuel station. That that would be terrible. So basic safety important. So okay. Now 
we th that was a joke I made by the way. Uh, so now we have to fix the, the drivability issues here. This is perfect, but this is not. And that is simply done like this. You turn it around and everyone is happy. Also, uh, the track budget buyers seem to f think that this car is made by a devilishly intelligent person and I can appreciate that. The markets in general just don't like this car, so I, I don't really have no clue why. Why would they not like this? This is crazy good. Let's take another look at the uh, panel for the fuel economy. We are now at 3.54 liters per 100 kilometers. And to you Moricans out there, this is 66.44 miles to the gallon. So uh, this is unheard of in Morica land. I know this is like crazy figures, like crazy talk from, from over the pond. But uh, th this, this is the real thing. Oh, sorry, you're Gasmians. Yes, I, I know. So I think like this, the car is just ready for production. Why would anyone want anything else? Look how cheap it is too. Everyone can afford it. But if we want to build it in a small factory, now comes the, the bad part of it, right? So if we want to build it in a tiny factory, because th these bastards don't want to give me anything good, then we would have to go with space frame. And space frame is basically another two sacks of potatoes. And that is crazy much. And that means we are bad in fuel economy now. But wait a second. There is one thing I have not seen before. There is a different variant of this body. Why was no one telling me? This, the van. This is a bad joke. This is the more streamlined version of this car. Look at this. 0.24 in drag. That, this is... This is a... Oh! Yes! Oh, this is like a bullet. Now no one likes the car anymore, but light delivery <laughs> now coming up and like it because... Well, it's a, it's a delivery van. It's the most efficient delivery van that ever would have been built. And we now... Oh. Don't they... Don't they see how much better this is for the fuel economy? Ah, well, the calculations somehow seem to be wrong for this. I don't know why, but... Uh, yes, building, building something that looks like a van is not necessarily good for the... Uh, for... The aerodynamics of the car, this is a much preferred look because you can make it slimmer towards the end, like a wing, basically. So, uh, yes, let's let's have this as such. And it's still 3.5 something in the fuel economy, if you look closely. So, if we go to the markets and... don't know why they don't like me anymore. Low safety penalty, why do they say this? Ah, that must just be the region selection. Well, if they... If they have higher requirements for the safety, I can't help them really, because who cares about safety when you can have fuel economy? And now we need to take the Hans Mobile around the test track. Um, this is the version that we would be able to build in 742 kilos only, and uh, that is still quite good figures. Below 10 seconds, 0 to 100 for you who actually use the gas pedal more than like the first fifth of so of the the, uh, the pedal um, so this is let's let's see how it goes oh yes it has great acceleration uh, it is very efficient even at the full throttle or very close to full throttle of course so it's optimized for that as we know Oh, it's not too bad to do this, but um, you, you've got to be very smart driving and use all the momentum you have. And we are finishing it in 2.46.18. Beautiful. This is, this is quite quick for, for just using so little fuel. All right. Well, that was interesting to see. Some more optimizations going on there.
uh, extending the the fuel range of that car and we need to extend out these as well because there's a bigger retool coming up seven months as we have seen and it's pretty close so we need to ramp them up uh, we already do have two months in there but I think in general we are doing pretty well we have managed to somehow uh, do the changeover using the same engine and not fuck it up with not yet fuck it up <laughs> with the various uh, cars needing it all right hope you enjoyed and see you guys next time